Hi, Paula Jo from Cedar Quilts. I have an empty design wall right now, but we are going to be filling this up with many, many squares because we are going to be making a cross quilt, a cross of many squares. You're going to need 768 squares, and it'll be easiest if you can design it on a wall. There are a lot of different ways to make design walls. This happens to be a wall of batting, Hobbs Heirloom 8020, and the fabric just sticks to it. You can put the fabric anywhere and then you can pick it up again and move it again, and it sticks on there. This is gonna be very, very, very helpful for you. So you're going to want a piece of batting or a big piece of flannel or something that you can use, and it's going to need to be at least 60 by 80, 65 by 85 inches would probably be better. So it's going to be as wide as my arms can spread and, and a little bit taller than, than I am to design it. When, when it gets all down, um, it'll be just slightly taller than I am and all about to my wrist. That's how big the finished quilt will be. But you're going to want something about 65 by 85 for a design wall. Another thing you're going to want are some of these erasable markers. These are by friction. And if you make a mark on fabric and you decide, oh, I made a mistake, you can just use an iron and you can erase the marks. It's wonderful. So when I'm done with this design wall and I want to do something else, I can take another color and I can mark it again and it's wonderful. So um, the erasable markers by friction are nice. I am also going to ask that you get some flathead pins and some Sharpie markers so that you can write your numbers so that you can label your columns because we are going to use our clothes lining technique and you're going to be clothes lining your chain piecing your columns. So you want some flathead pins and some Sharpie markers. You want the erasable markers for your design wall. You're going to need rotary cutter and mat. You're going to want some um, rulers. I'm going to be using a five inch ruler because I can mark two spaces and two two and a half inch squares will fit in those tracks. So a five inch ruler is really nice. You can use whichever one you want though. Um, also it's really nice to use some of these squaring up tools. If, you, if you're using scraps it's kind of nice to use a square up ruler and there are lots of those. Um, make sure I've got my list of things there. I think that's everything. So anyway, start gathering up your items so that you can join us to make our cross of many squares. It's based on the original quilt that is at St. Raphael's Episcopal Lutheran Church in Benson, Arizona, and I'm making up a pattern for it, and you can follow along. So start gathering some fabric and meet me back later. Toodaloo!